What's up guys and girls, just wanted to do a quick video to show you a GPT that I built that allows you to bypass any AI detection tool and I'll also be revealing another GPT that I came across that's also very good at transforming AI content to more human-like content that will decrease your AI detection score. So let's go ahead and get started. The GPT that I created is called the Blog Post Content Humanizer and it's very, very easy to use. All you have to do is head over to your website and you want to copy over whichever piece of content you would like to rewrite. So for example, let's say I want to rewrite this section here and you can copy as much content as you like. And we're going to paste it in. I'm going to tell the AI to rewrite. And while that's being done, I'm going to test the score for the original content to see what is that AI score compared to the new rewritten content. So we can see that the original score is 100% AI. Now let's go ahead and copy over the new rewritten content. And do note that sometimes this doesn't work. It does work most of the times, but sometimes when I scan content, I still get 100% AI. But for the most part, you are able to reduce your AI score using this GPT. So let's go ahead and scan the new content that's rewritten and let's see how that does in terms of AI content. Okay, so this is the new content that was rewritten. And as you can see, it is 95% original and 5% AI. So the tool definitely does work. And if you want to rewrite your content, you can do so using this GPT. I am going to continue to improve this GPT so that it works much better and that you'll always get 100% rewritten content while also keeping the essence of the content. I think that's a big part of it is that you don't want to just rewrite the content and then the content not be readable or just sounds weird. Um, I try to make it so that the content is still um, coherent and the content is still has the essence of the original piece of content that you're trying to rewrite. So if you actually go ahead and read through the humanized content, yes, it's probably not as good as the original piece of content, but it's not as bad as some of those um, AI rewriters that really mess up the, the, the essence of the content which you're creating. So if you guys want to use this tool for yourselves, I'll leave a link for this um, GPT in the description below. So this is one GPT in which you can use. Another GPT that I came across is called Humanizer. So let's go ahead and copy the same piece of text and this is called humanizer v2 and we're going to paste it in i'm going to tell it to rewrite this content okay so this is the rewritten content let's go ahead and copy this over and we're going to do a new scan on originality.ai start a new scan we're going to paste this in here and we're going to go ahead and click scan so i'm not sure why the humanizer didn't work the second humanizer not the one that i created it didn't work that well, but usually it is pretty good at rewriting content. So I'll share both of these and you guys can use whichever one you like the best and whichever one gives you the best um, outputs and the best outputs that are um, that are low in AI detection score. Now let's actually go ahead and test to see if you can rewrite a full article. So this is a full length article that I have on my website. We're going to copy this over and I'm going to use my blog post content humanizer and I'm going to tell it to rewrite. This full article is about 1300 words. So let's scan the original article first. So this is the new humanized content that was rewritten using the GPT. I'm going to go ahead and do a new scan. As you can see, the original article is 100% AI. Let's do a new scan and see if we're able to get a much higher um, original score. Okay, so this article seems to be 98% original and 2% AI. So that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good um, when it comes to rewriting your articles. Only thing is, is that sometimes it kind of shortens that article. So it's only about 695 words. But if you are worried about AI detection, then I have high confidence you can use my GPT to help you bypass AI detectors. So if you guys want to use this GPT for yourselves, again, it'll be in the description below. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you learned something new, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.